In his book The Premonition, A Pandemic Story, acclaimed author Michael Lewis explains how the pandemic opened many people's eyes to the importance of science and healthcare in ensuring humanity's survival. It is a timely reflection of when the federal government itself underestimated the impact of the outbreak. The premonition contains narratives of hidden superheroes during the pandemic, such as experts who learned from past epidemics and pandemics to experts who worked with policymakers. The story also magnifies political and institutional problems that hindered preparedness and action from containing the virus at earlier stages. Nevertheless, such problems produced implications and lessons worth considering for better preparedness in future similar crises. Here are the top seven lessons from Michael Lewis's The Premonition. Lesson one, be passionate. The doctors, experts, and frontliners battling COVID may be individually different regarding their age, gender, religion, race, and other characteristics, but they had one thing in common, passion. Because of their passion, they could go beyond their duties and have the courage to be transparent with the public, even if their superiors ignored them. It was their passion that has helped save people's lives. Whatever your occupation is, passion motivates you to do it well and makes you stand out from others who have the same job. Find what drives you and hold on to that so you can make a difference in people's lives. Lesson two, find people who can support you. One of the most interesting parts of the book is that there's a secret group of seven doctors who had different key positions in the federal government and had been together for more than 15 years. Every time there was a threat of a disease outbreak in the country, the seven doctors would come together. Because of their camaraderie and similar passions, they were able to organize the country's response to such threats. Just like those doctors, being surrounded by people who have the same drive, interests, and ideas as you can help you become more productive and achieve your goals. Thrive on their support to keep yourself motivated in doing what you do. Lesson three, know the context. An important theme of the premonition is that there are so many things going on behind the scenes. People usually do not know about it because information can be filtered, so only they see what they were allowed to see or what they want to see. To know the full story of an issue, you must learn about its background or context. Knowing the context can help you understand the issue better. It can also help you present solutions that can address why it became an issue in the first place. Indeed, it's an important critical thinking skill you should have to also avoid being easily swayed by filtered information. Lesson four, always be prepared. Pandemics have existed even before the 21st century, yet the COVID-19 outbreak seemed like uncharted territory for many people. In emergencies, information and awareness are necessary tools to avoid being misguided in spreading the disease. This mental preparation also allows you to focus and be physically prepared. For example, according to the agent-based model, diseases can quickly spread through social networks. Thus, to remove yourself from social networks to stay safe, you must stay at home or wear protective gear, such as face masks and gloves when you go outside. Lesson five, trust the experts. An important theme in the premonition is how societies often underestimate professional experts due to political and institutional obstacles. The fact that institutions can prevent expert opinion from going out is quite telling of the power institutions have to hold or withhold that could benefit the people. Instead of relying on institutions such as the CDC, you should also look at and listen to independent, unbiased medical or scientific experts who expressly provide their professional insight into crises they've been academically prepared for. Lesson six, take initiative. One of Lewis's main arguments in the book is that because the US government is institutionally dysfunctional, citizens are at risk of being abandoned and left with the private sector to handle crises like the coronavirus, even when they're less equipped to deal with such problems. While it is important to listen to the government's instructions, you should take the initiative, do your own research and apply what you know. This way, even when the government mishandles crises, you can be responsible for your own safety. Lesson seven, be critical. In times of emergencies, people can be susceptible to misinformation and other problems that may cause the disease to spread or worsen panic. To avoid being vulnerable to misinformation, you have to be critical of the information you receive. Instead of relying on social media and possibly fake or biased blogs, you need to compare news and research articles from different sources. Finding commonalities and differences can help you become more aware of what's agreed upon among experts and what is not. In conclusion, Michael Lewis's The Premonition reminds us that preparation is a collective effort that starts from within. The government has a responsibility to ensure its citizens' safety, but at the end of the day, you're responsible for your own health. Therefore, instead of hanging on to every word by the government, you should take action by exploring the vast networks of information 
especially from experts, and follow what they suggest. Because scientific and medical experts have studied diseases throughout their careers, they have more credible experience and knowledge to share. However, to be critical, you also have to question the experts. Double-checking the information you receive is vital to avoid being misinformed and other risks. Thank you for listening. If you like the book summary and you want to see more in this category, please like and subscribe so I can create more. You can also get a free copy of the entire audiobook by clicking the link in the description. Until next time.